Hey, thanks for joining us today on the life of the land is in its real estate. I'm Keena Nisley. I'm a real estate agent at Keller Williams, Honolulu. I am here today with Larry Gonzalez from Aligned Mortgage. He is a senior loan officer and he is here to share with us about a VA loan, what it is and how you use it. So thanks for joining us, Larry. Well, thanks for having me, Keena. Oh, great. So tell us a little bit about yourself first. Sure. So um, I actually not only know about and you know, do loans on the VA loan, I'm actually a veteran. So uh, I served in the Navy for 24 years and I've been here for actually 11 years and uh, been a loan officer now for four and a half years. I'm on my fourth really full year as a loan officer and uh, absolutely love doing what I do. I'm retired. So I have a lot of time and uh, between doing loans, I'm a scout master. Actually, today is the one year anniversary. I took my troop to, um, uh, to uh, Big Island last year and we climbed Mauna Loa, uh, 40 to 50 pounds on our back and we climbed to the summit. And uh, it, was, it was awesome, those life changing experiences that these children, these young men, uh, get to do, but that's kind of, um, yeah, yeah, that's me, and uh, so we're, uh, that's what I do, it's uh, kind of a little bit about me, if I'm not doing loans, I'm scouting, surfing, golfing. That's great, all right, so we always hear about a thing, especially in real estate, about a VA benefit, and I run into young soldiers that I love, I, I love when I hear, I don't think I get that. Yes, everybody gets that. So Larry, can you explain a little bit about what a VA benefit is? Sure. It, you know, I'm that I'm that I'm that soldier you talked to. I didn't when I was active duty, I had no idea I even had this benefit. It wasn't until I went to buy my second house here that somebody said, Oh, you can actually use your VA benefit. And, and so um Really, what is missing for us in the military when we're active is education. Now, if you go to the, the next uh, slide, um, there you go. So, um, you know, uh, the next slide. So, if you are active duty or you served in the regular military, any of the five services for 90 days in a time of war, and, and if, basically, if you're in a service now, you're eligible to use your VA home loan benefit. And one of the other things, we'll get into later is um uh the uh if you're in the guard you're actually eligible to use your va home or guard reserve after six years and we'll get into that a little bit but the big thing is people don't know they have this benefit so the uh and the other thing is they don't really think about that entitlement they have bah so you got bah you got the va home loan benefit and then you got this amazing place we call home hawaii and the three of those, I like to call, I call it the triad of awesomeness, because if you combine those things with education, boy, I tell you what, you have a powerful tool that you can use to build your legacy and your, you know, a secure financial future. So as I was saying, if you're, you know, anyone who's in the service now is eligible, um, as long as, you know, basically they get out of boot camp and they start their service within a couple months, they've been in 90 days, they can pretty much buy a home. I've had a 19 year old service member, uh, Mary come out here, bought a home. She can't even have a beer, but she can own a home. Is, is that crazy? Um, but it's true. And you know what? I, I chalked that up to education. Somebody told her that she had this incredible benefit. Um, and then going back to those who are in the guard or the reserves, there's so many on our island because we have, you know, we have the National Guard, we have the reserves. Um, they have no idea that they have this benefit. They don't, you know, if they've retired a lot, you know, they don't get their pension. That doesn't start until they turn 60. But that benefit, after six years in reserves, you're eligible for the a National Guard. And if you've been activated on Title 10 orders, you also have that benefit. And, and so uh, for, for 90 days. So you don't have to wait six years. You go on Title 10 orders, you're good. So a reservist, as long, even if they haven't ever been active duty, as long as they've been in the reserves or the National Guard for six years, they can use a VA loan. Yes. Yes, they're eligible. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, there's so many. You think about all the 
all the all the uh, all the people who work, like say at the shipyard, you know, there's a lot who are in the guards or nationals. They don't they didn't necessarily know they have that benefit. I think we're doing a pretty good job of educating, but still, there's a lot of folks uh, who just don't know about that. And then, so you know, one of the things that I hear, and I you know, I don't hear it as much here, but when I do loans on the mainland, um, I hear it from them. Oh, the VA loan is so so tough to use. It's so difficult. Ah, that's not true. And, and and when you explain it to them, they're like, oh wow, that is pretty good. But the VA loan has some significant advantages. The first one is there's no down payment requirement. None. Now, I knew, when I was growing up, and, and maybe for you too, Tina, uh, I thought you had to have money to buy a home. Yes. Now, my, I come from a, my mom raised me and my sister pretty much by, by herself for a lot of my youth, and we just rented, and we rent and move to the next place and the next place. So we just did, we never had a lot of money, but so I never really thought I could buy a home. And in my, in, I think for 15 of my years in the service, in 15 years, I'd never bought. I bought, and the first home I bought, I used a conventional loan. All right, and I and I had to do a down payment, which is crazy. But the VA, there's no down payment requirement. Uh, another advantage is there's no private mortgage insurance. And private mortgage insurance on a conventional loan or an FHA loan, if you don't put 20% down, you have to pay private mortgage insurance, a mortgage insurance premium. And basically, that's just insurance to the bank that you're not going to default on the loan. It's just an added payment. With a VA loan, you don't have that. Now, there is a funding fee, but um, you know, the funding fee is paid up front and it's actually rolled into the loan. It's kind of like a mortgage or you know, mortgage insurance, but it's a one-time payment. It's done. And the cool thing is if you have 10% or more disability, which most people on active duty don't, but if you have 10% or more disability, you don't pay you don't pay that funding fee. And as of January 1st, if you're an active duty and you're a Purple Heart recipient, you don't have to pay a funding fee, which is another great advantage. And actually I've had one Purple Heart recipient buy a home this year and, and we just asked them the question, do you have a Purple Heart? We saved them $13,000 with that question, you know, cause you didn't have to pay the funding fee. Uh, so, so that's another advantage. And then we kind of get to the, you know, the the stereotype oh it takes too long to do a va loan or the rates are too they're they're too high actually va rates are the lowest really the lowest out there they're about an eighth to a quarter point lower than conventional rates are and we close and it, you know, the rates are lender dependent and the time to close the loan is lender dependent there are some lenders right now they're so bogged down they're not doing 45 day or even 60 day loans Actually, for us here at Align, our purchases have always taken our priority, and we're still closing loans in 30 days, sometimes less if, if you know if it's necessary. So um, those are some big myths about you know that's a big myth about the VA loan, but really that's a huge advantage. Close quickly; they're pretty simple loans to do, and the rates are really good. Um, some of the myths that I hear: so there are a lot of folks who move to Hawaii on orders. They already have a home on the mainland and they'll say, oh, I can only use, they, they are immediately thinking, I'm going to base house in Normandy because I already used my benefit. Well, out here, I mean, no matter where, you can use your VA home loan benefit more than once. You can even have two VA loans at the same time. And because the max county loan limit here is so high, say you're on the mainland, maybe Texas, you spent $200,000, $200, dollars on a home. Just keep simple math. I'm just a loan officer. So $200,000 on your, uh, on your home on the mainland. Well, here you still have 565,000 and change left that you can use to, to buy a home with no down payment. Anything above that, there's a small down payment requirement, but that's not that much. But a lot of people have no idea that they can buy when they get out. Um, so for they, example, what, what would be the small down payment if they went over the, 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 the ceiling? Oh, right, let's go back to that example. So say you have 565,000 left in no money down eligibility and you found a place for um, 665,000, so $100,000 above that. Your down payment requirement is gonna be 25% of the difference, or 25% of 100,000 or $25,000. So that's, that's it, it's, which is still lower than if you were to make a, a, you know, do a conventional loan with a 5% down payment. 
So uh, the benefit of you, th there's still a benefit in using the VA benefit, the VA home loan benefit out here. In so I heard a lot in, in, in January that there's no cap to the VA loan. So Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have no entitlement in use, and this has been such a game changer, especially in Hawaii, if you don't have any entitlement in use and or you've never used your VA home loan before, uh, you there is no cap. That, that county loan limit is gone away. That You can go up to, and in some cases, beyond $2 million with no down payment. You have to income and credit qualify and there is a credit score requirement, uh, and every lender is a little different on their credit score requirement, but the credit score requirements are, are still pretty low. Uh, but yeah, you can go, I've had, I've had multiple million dollar purchases with no money down. I've had, we, we not me personally, but in our, in our branch, we've had a $3 million VA loan purchase with no money down. Big mortgage, but no down payment. So with all the guidelines changing um, with, with the COVID-19, did you see a big change in your guidelines for the VA loans that you're doing? So because of all the fears that the banks and our, and our investors have with regards to forbearance, which ultimately you know, leading to foreclosure if people stay unemployed, the credit score requirements pretty much across the board in our industry have gone up. Now, some of the bigger banks like Chase, I think is at 700, maybe even 720. We're, we were at 580, now we're at 600. We were a little higher, but we dropped back down to 600. Um, just because really we have, a, you know, out here, especially considering such a large military population, um, we're pretty stable and we do good loans. We do solid loans. So, um, so yeah, so our, our, our limit is a little lower, it's at 600. Okay. So I do run into a lot of clients that are worried about, is this permitted? They walk into a house, sometimes Hawaii homes are a little, you know, uh, they, got, they got some little attachments going on and it's always, is this permitted? So how is the VA handling those, those things that might not be permitted? That's uh, always a huge question. It, it used to be a big deal because if there was anything that was not permitted, you couldn't use your VA loan on that home. But as of a couple of years ago, that, that changed. So say you have a five bedroom, three bath home, but one of the bedrooms wasn't permitted. As long as the home was done and you know, that fifth bedroom was added in a workmanlike manner, that's fine. You will not get any um, credit, if you will, uh, for that, that fifth bedroom. It will be assessed or appraised as a four bedroom, uh, three bath, not a five bedroom, three, but three bath. But you can still, you can now actually do uh, a VA loan on a home that has unpermitted uh, parts of the uh, property. And another question I always run into as a real estate agent, because as you know, I work with a lot of investors, they all want to use that VA rehab loan. So can you kind of fill us in on where that's at right now? Well, VA is not doing VA rehab loans right now, um, just because of all that's going on in our nation. But even then, is I don't know. Real, I have not done a VA rehab loan here. I, I've heard other people may have, but I haven't really seen it. Um, and I think a lot big reason is it's it's not for cosmetic repairs. It's for more you know, bigger repairs um, and repairs that require permitting. And the permitting process here, as you know, so low. So I haven't seen one. It's definitely not. The VA is not doing them right now anyway, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now the biggest question, and I know there's a slide in your stack about whether you should buy. I get a lot of young soldiers that come and they oh, say, oh, yeah. expensive. Should we buy? Oh, no. I think maybe we should just rent. So what what would you say about the renting versus the buying? And you yeah, like so if you could go to slide nine, um, you know, buying versus renting. You know, what I tell folks is, you know, what does BAH stand for? And then, especially if it with a bunch of active duty people, they're like, oh, it stands for basic allowance for housing. I'm just like, no, it stands for buy a house. It's exactly what it stands for. It, it, because you are, you're either buying your house or you're buying your landlord's house. And 
Um, I don't know if you can keep that up, that um, that that slide up. Yeah. So when you rent, and then this is for, I think, a, it, I'm not sure, let's say it was um, an E, let's see, what was it? An E, I want to say it was an E5 with dependence scenario. An E5 could, you're know, using their, with their equivalent BAH, they could buy a $500,000 condo or townhome with a $500 maintenance fee. This is what this scenario is. And basically your, your BAH covers that. Now, if you're renting or you're in base housing, you lose that. And I, I'm that guy. I, I, when I got here, I went right into base housing for six years. I gave up my BAH. It was over $4,000 a month. I gave up over $300,000 in BAH. Um, and, and so we don't even, and I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. So, you know, if you, you look at this, if you were to buy the equivalent, and when you leave base housing or rent, what do you get when you leave? You get nothing. You know, if you're renting, you may not even get your security deposit back. Actually, it's cheaper to buy a home than it is to, to rent, right? Because if you rent, you got to pay a security deposit and first month's rent before you even step in the house. If you buy a home, you're you have to pay for a home inspection. And maybe that's about it. You can work, you know, if you do work with us, we're gonna cover your appraisal if you listen to one of our seminars. Um, but you can move in with just that. And your first mortgage payment isn't until two months, almost two months after you move in. So, I mean, when I you tell people that, they're like, are you kidding me? You know, you're renting a three thousand dollar home. That's six thousand dollars out of your pocket before you even step in. Whereas if you're buying a home, you're not making that first three thousand dollar payment until two months after you you close. You've got at least two months worth of BAH that you've collected. But the bigger thing, the bigger reason to buy is you get nothing when you leave after renting. But if you buy the potential, especially in Hawaii, because Hawaii, as you know, Keenan is all about appreciation. And after, in, in this scenario that I have up here, even using a very conservative 4% annual appreciation over a four year period, you should have about $84,000 in appreciation. Not to mention you're gonna amortize that loan. You know, what is buying a home? It's a four savings plan, right? Because every month you're putting money into that house. That's your house. All right, it's, you know, some of it's going to interest to pay the bank, but, you know, about a third of it is going to the house. That's your savings. All right, and you're killing, you're bringing that loan down. So you're making money, the long, especially the longer you own the home. And if you look at the right side of that graph, if you left your, if you transfer, say you're here on four-year orders, your net gain, when you take into account the commission you have to pay when you sell, um, it's going to be about $92,000. That's pretty good. What do you get if you're renting when you leave? Zero. You say. Now, say you want to hold on to the home a little longer. All right, you rent it out. And say you rent it out for three years and you have to pay $500 out of pocket. Just looking at that graph, all right, the $92,000. All right, $500 out of pocket a month. That's what? $18,000 over three years. So that $18,000 investment over three years, just take that four, go five, six, seven. $18,000 investment will get you $200. $12,000 in net gain. That's almost, that's over $100,000, an $18,000 investment out of your pocket to cover the difference gets you $100,000. Talk about an investment, that's good. Um, and you know, as well as I do, every, you know, 11 to 15 years, the median sales price of homes here doubles in value, on, on, you know, historically speaking, no guarantee on the future, but I don't know the way house prices are going right now. I mean, we can see that happen. So one last quick question, and yeah. I, I question a lot. Can you use your VA loan? You talked about renting. Can you use your VA loan to buy a house that also might have a little rental potential, a little ADU, a little extra studio to rent out on the side while you live in the house that you're buying with your VA loan? Absolutely. So the, the, the requirement for the VA is that you, that home that you buy with your VA loan must be your primary residence. You can live in one room and rent the rest of it out. I have I've had clients who have bought the home, you know, a multi, you know, a multifamily or you know, a, with an ADU. They live in a smaller 
in the ADU and they rent out the, the bigger part of the home and collect more rent. And basically have someone paying almost their entire mortgage. The key is it has to be your primary residence. Doesn't mean you can't rent out. A, I've had guys who've rented out a bedroom. Like I've seen it on Facebook. This guy's renting out a bedroom before he's even in the house, you know? So yeah, you absolutely can. Just make sure it's your primary residence. Oh, wow. So anything else you'd like to add? Like what if people want to learn a little bit more about using their VA loan? You know, if you want to learn about your VA benefit, because I haven't covered, I it's really, we've just gone very little, you know, kind of cover the, the top covered. Uh, we actually have a, a VA seminar this weekend. It's a virtual one and it's from 10 to noon of uh, Hawaii standard time. And if you go to that, if you watch that, and you buy a home with us, we actually cover the cost of your appraisal. Uh, and, and if you want to sign up for that, just go to my website. It's uh, www.larrythelo.com. And then just, you know, there's a sign that's, or there's a button that says, uh, you know, register for seminar. And you can do that and we'll sign you up. And, you know, you can watch your, we usually do these in person, but you can watch seminar. them in your home. Correct. It, it's a free seminar and there's no commitment. Doesn't mean they have to buy a house, correct? If they come to the seminar. No, you know, it's education, you know, and, and again, you may not, you may be leaving here soon and, and that's fine. Um, but you should know about this benefit because, you know, the first time the military taught me about it was when I was at my TAP class, my retirement class. <laughs> that was 20, that was 24 years too late. <laughs> You could build a lot of wealth in those 24 years. Oh, my God. So, Larry is great. I can attest that I just worked as the on the sell side 37 days. That VA loan was closed during our stay-at-home order. So, everything was done virtually, and we went from acceptance to closing in 37 days, um, which is great. And so if you would like more information about using your VA loan, please contact Larry. If you'd like to shop for homes that, that qualify for a VA loan, I would be happy to work with you or answer any questions. And so thank you so much, Larry. I, I learned a ton. So I love this. But hey, um, Thanks, Gina. Yeah. Anything else you want to add really quick? I think we have maybe a minute left. <laughs> You know, I think uh, people are concerned about the housing market right now and whether they should buy. And, you know, it is a, it is a seller's market because the inventory is so low, right? It's, I don't know if it's ever been this low. I have more people who are looking to buy a home than I've ever had. So it is a seller's market, but it's also a buyer's market because the interest rates have never been this low. So, um, we're on an elevator, you know, the way I look at the home prices, we're on an elevator and that elevator is going up and it's going up. I don't think it's coming back down. You know, people are saying, oh, I asked people, hey, you think a million dollars is crazy, you know, high for a median sales price for a home? Like, oh yeah, that's, that's no way. I grew up in San Jose, California. Median sales price over there hit a million dollars three summers ago. If they can do that in San Jose, they can do it here. I've lived in San Jose. I live here. I'll take I'll take Hawaii over San Jose, you know, six days a week and twice on Sundays. So yeah, we can go that high. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I hope everyone else learned as much as I did. And I will see you all in a couple weeks. I have Troy Wada in two weeks sharing about your Delaware statutory trust. For those of you that might own some rentals and investment properties that are ready to get rid of those and really don't want to trade into another property. So I will see you all in a couple weeks. And this has been the life of the land is in its real estate and with Think Tech Hawaii. I will see you all in a couple weeks. All right.
Oh, Chris, 